What's up, cool cats and kittens? It's Uncle Mad and Aunt Jesta here. And today, we are checking out a very popular dining location here in Nashville, Tennessee. One we've tried before, but we're here for a very special reason. We're not just here to try the food. We're not just gonna look over the menu and say, oh, that sounds good, I'm gonna try that. We are here today because Husk, I don't know if I said that yet or not, but that's where we're at, we're at Husk has one of the top rated cheeseburgers in all of Nashville. And this one has been dying to get over here and check it out. But you may have heard there's been some stuff going on in the world that made going out to eat a little bit more complicated than it used to be. So I've been waiting for the right time, the right opportunity to get over here and check it out. And today is that day. We're here on a Wednesday because they have good happy hour specials on Wednesday as well. Not a drinker. But, you know, we're always doing what we can to provide you guys with all the info you need, all the content you need. So we probably will be partaking in the happy hour specials uh, just to give you guys an idea of what they are. No other reason other than that. Um, but this was a good time for us to record this intro because we showed up like 30 minutes before they were even open. Just didn't do enough of our research. Just out and about trying to get an early start to the eating got and got too early mm -hmm. it's true shoot but they should be opening up in about five minutes and we're going to be the annoying guests that are in the door as soon as the restaurant opens and all the servers are already going to be pissed at us before they even have a chance to get to know us so if anybody from husk happens to somehow watch this video sorry we just didn't have anything else going on and i'm trying to make this intro as long as possible to kill as much time as possible so that we're not right on top of you we probably won't go until 405 I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, we're here to eat cheeseburgers. And we're not going to leave until we do that. And now it's time for Husk Cheeseburgers. If they're open. We still don't actually know if they're open. Alright, so for reference, if you don't have a reservation, we got a little sign outside that says call. That's how you get added to the list to get set. But we're the only people in the entire restaurant, so we didn't have any problem getting set. They just opened the door like, hey, you guys can just come on in. All right, here is a look over at the menu. But here is what we actually came for. We got the happy hour specials and the husk cheeseburger. As a nice touch, they've got Germix and sanitizer available at all the tables. Mm, I'm gonna get a little bit of that right there, just like we did down at Walt Disney World. Now, if we weren't here on a very specific mission, this pimento cheese bacon jam sounds great. But we're here for cheeseburgers and cheeseburgers alone. All right, so for our drink selections, I went with the Mule in the Tropics. Jessica went with the Avondale Mosey Lager. She must have liked it because she drank about half of it before I even started recording this, but we've got a Thanks for joining us, and they let you know they made sure everything has been washed, sanitized, and cleaned so you can have a safe dining experience. They also have this on the table, which lists all the protocols that they're implementing to make sure you can dine safely. Do what you have to do. I don't think I was recording that entire time. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Mule in the tropics. Cheers. a gingery flavor like a Sprite or a ginger ale. I like that. You could get into that. How's your beer? It's fine. This is really good. Alright, here is what we came for. Hus cheeseburger and fries. Really what's so interesting about this is it looks like it's pretty much just a basic cheeseburger. No frills. Looks like it's got some kind of special sauce on it. Like a Dijon, like a Dijon kind of honey mustard, but no frills about it, just a basic burger. Let's see how it is. Right, here we go. That's delicious. <laughs> Hold on. Two bites, everybody knows the rules. That's phenomenal. It's like a gourmet version of like a McDonald's burger. That's delicious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish eating this. Leave me alone. 
All right, so I killed the burger in like less than two minutes. It was amazing, but these fries are freaking awesome too. That's hard to do. Some places have good fries, but the burger's just okay. Some places have great burgers and the fries are just okay. They nailed them both here. All right, so here is the damage. Not too bad for a nice place like this. They also have a touchless payment option where you don't even have to hand off your card or anything like that. So I think we're gonna give this a shot. Honestly, I could eat another one of these cheeseburgers. It was so good. Okay, so that cheeseburger was phenomenal. What is that? Please select one. It's a voice Please from the clouds. Oh. I was like, what are you talking about? I feel like I'm back at Disney. Select the destination by saying the course. Look what you did. I didn't do that. That ain't me. Although, we what could. I, I said I could eat another cheeseburger. Take us to Gabby's Cheeseburgers. No. I think I did it. Please repeat. Gabby's Cheeseburgers, please. And pay my bill. Charge to Jessica Fox. What do you want to do? Ugh, the AI in this car is useless. All right, so back to what I was saying. That duo, oh, good driving, buddy. That cheeseburger was phenomenal. Lived up to the hype. Now Definitely would recommend if you, shut up Mercedes, I'm trying to talk. If you are in and around the Nashville area, that is a great spot to go to to get a good cheeseburger. Don't go to Broadway. Broadway is terrible. Don't come to Nashville right now. <laughs> I changed my mind. Stay but home. if you live here, nobody from outside. There's like three people who watch this. But it, for those of you that live here, if you're looking for a good cheeseburger, check out Husk. What's nice about it is, okay, guys, pay attention to this. The restaurant itself is a little bit on the fancy side. So... You can kind of get away with a date night type thing, but you're just getting a cheeseburger and fries. So, thumbs up on that. But yeah, Husk was great. Um, Prepare but, to turn right. I have now decided that this will be the first in a series of Nashville cheeseburger videos. Because our waiter, he told us that's his favorite cheeseburger, but because he works there, he's eaten it so many times that he's had to kind of branch out and try others. He recommended Gabby's and Joyland. So those are gonna be on the list. A quarter of a mile. We've looked up some other options. So this will be the first in a series of Nashville cheeseburgers. You can also check out the Nashville Hot Chicken series. I'll put a link somewhere around Persons. this screen. Somewhere you'll see it. Navigation. But this is the first in the Nashville cheeseburger series. So as of now, Husk is one of one, because we've only tried one. So Husk is number one at the moment. So. Stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications so that you see when we return with another Nashville cheeseburger, with another Nashville cheeseburger video. Leave some comments down below if you know of any Nashville cheeseburger spots we should check out. Leave those comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up, not a thumbs down, as Nephew Parker always likes to say. And we're still practicing all the good protocols and things that we're supposed to do, so don't stand so close to me. I'm sorry, Jess, I didn't even ask you. Do you want to give some final thoughts on this? That is one of the top two burgers that I've ever had in my life. The only other one that is similar on the same par is that Jack Brown's Elvis burger with peanut butter. It sounds weird, but it is super delicious. That burger was amazing at Husk. It was not overrated in any way, shape, or form. And we went to Jack Brown's before I started this vlog, so we'll go there again, we'll eat it again, we'll vlog it this time and add it to the Nashville Cheeseburger series. I gotta say, this is what made that burger so special, is it was as basic of a burger as you possibly have. It didn't have any kind of like, no oh, flash. gourmet, spring mix avocado with fig leaves and aioli of the clouds. It was just, it was, Two smash burger patties, melted cheese, some onions, tomato, like a Dijon kind of mustard. A tomato. It was great. Go to Husk, get the cheeseburger. Stay tuned to the channel for future Nashville cheeseburger videos. What, did you have something else to say? You can only get the cheeseburger at certain times at Husk. True. 
Very true. You can only get it at happy hour or brunch. It's yep. not on their normal menu. Yep, so if you want to go get the cheeseburger, I'll put a link to Husk website down below. I'll put a link to their Instagram. Hey, Uncle Matt, remember to do that. Half the time I say I'm going to do this stuff and then I forget. So I'm going to wave to myself. Hey, Matt, pay attention to this part. Don't, you know, skip over this while you're editing. Actually pay attention. Hi. Hi. Hey, me, future me who's going to edit this. Put the links that I'm telling you put in the description down below so that people can check it out. But yeah, make sure if you're coming to Husk for the cheeseburger, make sure you check their links down below to make sure you're coming at the right time. They are a farm-to-table restaurant, so their menu constantly changes. So sometimes they might have it on the dinner menu. Sometimes they might not even have it on the happy hour menu. But so definitely check out them. Their Instagram, they post every day what they're going to have. So that's a good place to check before you go. So Matt, future Mad. Hey, future Mad. Put the links down below. If I do this enough, I'll see it while I'm editing, because half the time I don't like to listen to my own voice, so I just skip what I'm editing, so who knows what I'm saying in half these videos. Look at this, Uncle Mad. Put the links down below. You people click the links, check out Husk. Whew, I think I've talked more about Husk than we filmed at Husk, so <laughs> it was good though. Don't stand so close to me.